Let's get back to the action in the World 10 Ball Championship. We are watching a very close match between Mark Granite Gray and Torsten, the Hitman Holman. Torsten leads four to three, and it's his break. He has a chance now to open a bit of a gap between he and his opponent. But it all begins with this break shot. The break shots have not been working well for either man. I think it's a dry break here. Yeah, once again, the break has deserted the player at the table. And Mark Gray gets to come up here. There is a possibility for... Can he just nip this two in? Can catch the one first and use the billiard? Yeah, he can. It's actually it's the eight ball. He can carry him into that eight, but then the cue ball is going to stay down there. The one ball is going to come uh, back up table if he can hit it softly enough, so so that he can then play the one inside. That's fine. He is pointing to the eight ball. Yeah, he's calling the carom. Must strike the one ball first. And float over for the eight. Good. And as you said, the one ball did travel down table. So now. Well, he has a bank here for an option. I don't like it. Yeah, as, as we see on the screen, yes, the angle is a bit wide. We problem for him to hold it. So the safety in the offing here. It's a tough safety, though. It's taking a long time to consider it. Basically got a two rail, that one ball, down to the bottom rail and hope that it hides behind the three and the ten because it's going to be tough to duck that cue ball. Side pocket. He's calling the side pocket. Really? He's staying on this bank. That's a tough decision. Just want to make sure that plays the safe. So a two-way shot that manufactured there. Yeah, but you know, he is, as much as he missed that side pocket, he was never really going for it. I'm not even sure why he bothered to call it. So the former world champion going back to his seat, collecting his jump cue. One ball back. Now he has called the long rail bank. Into the corner pocket off of a jump shot. Actually, uh, the, uh, he played here in the Philippines uh, like three or four months ago in the PPT or the Philippine Bull Tour. He did manage to do this by a particular shot. Played the long rail bank off a jump cue. Yeah, you want to try it twice? Well, let's see. <laughs> Made it good. Yeah, and it looks good. Oh, yeah. So that's two out of two for that shot. Well, he's going to keep the short stick in his hand. He's got another jump shot coming up. I didn't know we were playing jump pool. If you could see that, what a wonderful shot there by the that was a great shot. <laughs> Fantastic shot. And, you know, never a doubt. Unfortunately, leaving uh, himself snookered, but if he took on that one, this should be the cake. Yeah, this this one's easy compared to the last. Like two jump shots in a row. Yeah. Jump then swing around two rails to pop out with that red three. Almost. Too much to ask. And this will leave Mark Gray shot on the two. <laughs> well, no good deed goes unpunished. surveying the table here. If he gets on the three ball solidly, solidly he, uh, he should have it made. Should be able to tie our matchup. You know, as a pool player, I never get used to that ash wood shaft. Simply because you can see the grain. And when you're shooting down to the queue? Yeah. It would really distract me. But snooker players say they love it. Is it uh, stiffer than uh, the normal? It is stiffer, but it's got a more open grain. And it's, to me, it's, the, the feel is just awkward to that shot. Giving him a nice...
nice angle for the four to take that orange five in the lower left corner. He should be on his way here. He should be. Just has to get the right angle on the five because he has to draw the cue ball back all the way down to the other end of the table for the six. I don't know. I think this is too much. Well, makes the shot yeah. tougher, but the position easier. All he needs now is right hand spin to get shape. I think that cue is right next to you. Trademark of snooker, snooker players. Yeah. A little bit of pep in his step here. Confidence coming back. Yeah, he's got to like this. Just needs to draw up around the side pocket to be in very comfortable shape. Draw back for the nine, about a couple of inches, or just stun it off that long rail. Take that 10 in the opposite corner. Well, they are really keeping it close here, Neil. And they're tied. Four racks piece. And it's a race to nine. So our original race to nine turns into a race to five. Everybody all even after the first eight racks. Four to four. Ray and Homan. Winner break format. So Gray will be coming back. Here we take a look at some of the highlights of that last okay. round. And that's Jump certainly shot. the highlight. First thing right there. The ball's suddenly jumping over another ball and leaving the table. Still. Wonderful shot there, Ryan. With that ten ball, Mark tied his position up. Another update here: Sit Chun Ching from Hong Kong against Fahamad Fahad Mohammadi uh, Ching, winning the fighter there. Nine eight. Yeah, the Qatar players have a coach, and they work very hard at improving their game. A lot of these players in the Mideast, East better watch them in the future because they are really.